Speaking of Muna 1, Rabbi David Ashir brings down an incredible story about a boy in London who would travel by train every Thursday morning to be at his choir practice at 9 a.m. There was one day while he was on the train, he looked at his watch and it said 8.30. Realizing he still had plenty of time till the practice, he decided to step off, grab a coffee, relax a little bit, and then he'll come back on the train. Well, shortly after he stepped off that train, he heard a massive explosion turned around and he saw the train that he was just on was set on fire. There were sirens everywhere and he began to cry as he realized the incredible miracle that just happened. He tried to run home as quickly as he can to tell his parents as they'd probably be nervous. They heard about what happened on the news. And when he came into his house, his parents were crying and they were so overjoyed to see him. And they told him they just heard that on the news that at 8.50 a.m. there was a synchronized attack against the London transit system. And they knew he was on it. They were so petrified. And he said, Mom and Dad, I think it was at 8.30. I looked at my watch. It took place at 8.30. They said, no. On the news it said it was at 8.50 a.m. And he looked at his watch right then and he saw that his watch still said 8.30. And he realized that Hashem had performed a tremendous miracle for him. See, right then, Hashem caused his watch to stop, to say 8.30 a.m., and he thought that he still had extra time on his hands, and that's what caused him to step off that train, which is what saved his life. The other day, we spoke about the symbolism of the sukkah, the great debate between Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Akiva, where Rabbi Eliezer holds that the sukkah represents the Anani HaKavo, the clouds of glory, and Rabbi Akiva holds the sukkah represents the actual sukkahs that the Jews lived in in the desert. Rabbi Isaac Sher tells us something unbelievable, that the Anani HaKavo protected Klal Yisrael as a whole. They were there for the entire nation, and if you were a part of that nation, then you were Zoha, you merited to be part of this incredible miracle. However, Rabbi Akiva's opinion hits an entirely different chord. You see, in the desert, Hashem provided each specific family with their needs, with their protection, with their shelter of a sukkah. Hashem was looking after what each and every single specific person needs during that time. Hashem didn't only provide for you in the desert because you were a part of the greater Kal Yisrael. Hashem provided you in the desert because you are you. You know, it's said that Rav Shamshin Rafal Hirsch, when he would say Adon Olam every morning, and he would recite the words, Vehu Keli, and He is my God, he would get all excited, and he would start announcing, He is my God, He is my God, that awesome and incredible God, He is mine. Just like that boy in London who recognized that Hashem was looking after, specifically him, Hashem did a miracle just for him at that time. The sukkah is here to remind us that Hashem is looking after the needs of each and every single individual. Hashem cares and is watching to provide you with everything that you need specifically at this time. A good moed and have a wonderful rest of the Chag.